As you said, everybody's asked the same question. So. Oh, I, think, I think it's kind of a progression of thought. I, kind of, I felt like the most natural progression of thought from hating women individually partaking and transgressing, mildly transgressing boundaries and expectations. And so I thought this is the next step on, isn't it? That if they are really unbounded, really appetitive to the point of uh, being oversated, gorging. Potentially, but I don't think it's I don't think it's a kind of indiscriminate gorging. I think it's it's quite particular all the same. I think that she's exercising she can appear to be really unbounded, but she's exercising decisions over what she partakes of and what she rejects. So I kind of thought it'd be, it'd be interesting to create a figure of a woman that's that is so purposeful in, in indulging that she's built a contraption in her skirt. <laughs> so, that, so that what she wants to eat, to consume, is brought to her. And so she can select from it, take what she wants from it and reject the rest. So there are kind of shards, there's, there's empty shells, but there are foodstuffs that have been rejected as well as being consumed. And I, I haven't really used at that point, I haven't used the palette knife, I'm not accustomed to working with a palette knife. It's not my bag at all, I really like to work in particular over the brush and get these smooth edges to make these feel three dimensional and you know, rounded and um, structural. Um, but I, I wasn't getting it, I wasn't getting that kind of that feeling, that visceral feeling of um, matter, you know, food, matter in the painting. So I used a, a palette knife to do that and on the hand as well, so that the palette knife works on the hand. So you know, the implements themselves are not quite enough, you know, she's got to use, use, use her hand and use kind of you know, feel the food to consume it. I was also thinking partly about, you know, this constructive skirt thing. I was thinking about Alan Jones, you know, there's an artist, a painter, a photographer, Alan Jones, RA, who made a very famous piece that was attacked by feminist, I would say, a case of that <coughs> attack. And he made a piece of a called Girl Table, which is a kind of mannequin form oh, yeah. that fed over, you know, people just sit on them. I thought it'd be quite interesting to slightly refer to that. I've been using mannequins in my work, but I'm not explicit about the ways that I use them and where I use them exactly, because I think that affects the reading of the work. Um, I thought it'd be quite interesting to do that quite purposefully to refer to that piece, but to really subvert it. So a girl table, but it's, it's a very different kind of table. Nobody's going to sit on that table. She's going to pull the bell pull to her side and make a decision about what's brought to her, when she's ready for it. I did, I, I did wonder about the bell for a minute, because I, I, I've read it slightly differently and the fact yeah. that I, I think you've made her look very uncomfortable. Yeah. She's, she's sitting on a chair which appears to be too small for her. Yeah. And she then you know, feet her in a position which yeah. is uncomfortable. It's, it's un the, yeah. whole, the whole thing feels a bit uncomfortable. Yeah. I did wonder whether that was some sort of emergency <laughs> type thing. That's um, interesting. I, 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 I read it almost like a possibly an eating disorder problem. Yeah. Uh, bulimia. Yeah. Particularly yeah. because she's quite thin. Yeah. And yet she's, and yet she's gorgeous. Yeah. Um, and then there's obviously bits and pieces in there that the knife pointed towards you. Yeah. Like which are, yeah. I mean, I always include things which are really discomforting in my work. So there's, I'm really interested in beautiful surfaces, beauty as a trap for the unwary, is how I look at it. So I like things to be enticing. And kind of, you know, to involve the viewer, to bring you in, to entice you, to seduce you, but then to add things which push you away or don't make you feel quite uncomfortable. I kind of think I kind of think I have my intentions and my thoughts, which are not always totally known to me when I make things. And I think everything you said is really true. But I think the way I would think of that is in thinking so often, in order to um, to be in a place where you can partake of what you want, it can involve terrible contortions in your life, mm -hmm. the way people see you and what people expect of you. I did a painting uh, called A Little Light Reading, which is a real pile of chairs with a woman sitting on top, with a really high tower of chairs with a woman sitting on top, reading a book, and um, a little light reading I called it. She's reading a Virginia Woolf 